hello everyone thank you for joining me tesho with tomesh youtube channel so today i am going to talk about the upgrade existing azure generation 1 vm to basically to generation 2 vm by changing the security type to trusted throne so if you want to migrate to existing gen 1 vm to gen 2 vm so you can do that by changing your security type from uh, standard to trusted loan uh, that is the way that we can do this migration so and you need to make sure that uh, this is still in the preview state so uh, it is recommended to do this on your testing environment or develop environment uh, this is not recommended for your production environment since this is still in the preview stage so basically we have a bunch of prerequisites uh, to met before doing this uh, migration there are multiple prerequisites in the first one as you can see it is subscription is on border uh, so we have to enable this preview feature inside your subscription so i will uh, go ahead and uh, show you how to do that in a bit so it can be uh, do that by manually by yourself this is the namespace under uh, microsoft compute and the second one will be the azure vm computer so the vm that you are going to migrate it should be uh, inside this uh, supported uh, size family uh, this link you can check whether your current vm is uh, with this uh, supported uh, uh, size family or not if not you can change uh, your current uh, vm size family to supported uh, size family based on this uh, information in the uh, next one trusted loan supported operating system so your operating should be also supported uh, based on this list right uh, excluding in here you can see excluding windows server 2016 is not supported debian azure linux those are not supported and the custom os images or this those are also not supported this scenario okay uh, next one is as well, vm is isn't using feature are not supported with trusted load. Uh, these features uh, if you have i will show you what are the features that mentioned in here in a bit the next one is as well, backup uh, if it is enabled with a uh, standard backup policy you should need to change it to the enhanced backup policy so if if it is current uh, you are configured with the standard uh, backup policy you can change it to the enhanced policy by changing you can do this migration without any issue uh, next one is upgrade uh, your test gen 1 to Russian launch determine if any changes are required with the prerequisites before you update vm1 especially the production workload Russian launch yeah they, they are recommending to you do this to uh, any uh, testing environment before doing to any of production environment right okay uh, disable any windows os volume encryption let's say if you have bit local enable so you have to uh, disable it before you update this process after you have updated you can re-enable it uh, without any issue uh, these are the unsupported uh, gen 1 vm configuration same as the uh, previous one this is the unsupported one like production workloads uh, this recommended for only for the testing environment evaluation and feedback uh, then the operating system supported please so you can check those information i will uh, put that uh, link in the chat description so you can check uh, on that and the sizing information as you back up there as i said earlier and the bit local information okay uh, best practices here mentioned better to take any backup uh, these are the uh, and uh, this is a kind of you won't be able to extend your voice this to volume after mbr to gpt conversion as a part of this upgrade uh, this will be automated during this migration so i will show you uh, it is inside the uh, provisional script uh, in the next few items i will show you how to do that and update the guest toys volume uh, as i mentioned gpt type and uh, and the efi system partition those will be changed during this migration you need to uh, consider these changes as well when you are migrating okay uh, here the conversion part of uh, like uh, updating the guest source volume this will be automated during this powershell script i will that i am going to show you in a bit okay this is the upgrade gen 1 we have to solve uh, before going ahead with that i will show you okay 
what are the features these are the not supported one features for uh, trusted launch when we are changing the CPU type to trusted launch these will be not supported as so side recovery uh, this will be good for general level for windows uh, manage image custom images are not supported nested virtualization d5 vm size supported and the linux vm with hibernation these features will be not supported with trusted launch at the moment okay you can uh, go ahead with and check these uh, information i will uh, mention this document okay next i'm going to show you how to enable this preview feature inside your subscription okay let's open this link okay inside you can see how to do that uh, in this document you need to go to the subscription and inside the subscription there will be a uh, tab called uh, preview features uh, the, uh, inside this uh, preview features tab so you will need to uh, search the particular feature and register it let me show you how to do that so we need to uh, enable this one gen1 to run my patient preview on the microsoft compute namespace okay uh, let me show that how to do that uh, so first of all you need to go to the subscription and settings under settings you have preview features inside this you can change the provider to a microsoft compute it will be filtered for only for microsoft compute and check the particular feature migrate gen 1 vm to trusted loan this one so you need to uh, make sure to register this currently it is not status is not registered we need to register it by click on here this will register it's already registered now let's check is it registered or not it will take few uh, seconds to appear Now it's in registered status. That is how you're gonna do that. Okay. So you need to go these prerequisites one by one before they run this the uh, PowerShell script. Uh, as I mentioned before, you everything. Okay. Uh, now check the uh, GitHub repository that. Uh, available here so you can open by this clicking on this link or uh, i already opened that particular link yes the github repository so here uh, the same information and additional information are mentioned here so you can read all the information before going ahead with uh, doing this migration so this is the important uh, this framework that i mentioned before starting this uh, session so this uh, my, this issue is not supported under any microsoft piston support program uh, as i mentioned before this is uh, still under preview state this is not generally available yet okay uh, you can read these prerequisites uh, information here uh, additionally you can check that this information like powershell uh, version should be 7.2 or above this powershell module also installed in your uh, environment before run this uh, powershell script those information you can check one by one okay you can download this uh, powershell script and save it to your local environment this is the powershell script so in this powershell script you can uh, if you download it you can just copy and paste uh, inside your notepad or anything uh, in locally and run this PowerShell script inside your PowerShell. So basically, uh, inside this, I will check uh, 
uh, this part uh, this is the one that we have already done feature registration what is what is the gender generation one two or uh, migration preview this one we already registered inside our subscription uh, and I face uh, some kind of a loop issue when I'm running this uh, PowerShell script inside my PC uh, basically it loop uh, by registering keep saying registering uh, loop issue so what I did was uh, I just uh, registered it manually and comment this uh, code block and run this PowerShell script so it will uh, run through the whole PowerShell script without any issue this can be uh, fixed future uh, can be fixed uh, in near future so when you're trying uh, you can uh, initially you can run this whole PowerShell script by yourself it will be uh, fixed in near future but at the moment that I'm currently doing this video uh, it's not supported for me uh, so what I did was I will uh, I just uh, change the code block, uh, remove this, or you can comment this code block and do the registration manually. Okay, uh, let's see how we can run this script. Okay, before I run this script, let me show you uh, what VM I'm going to uh, migrate from Gen 1 to Gen uh, 2. Okay, uh, this is the virtual machine. Uh, there is still in uh, running status. Uh, as you can see, this is the VM generation which is mentioned in here V1. And the CPU type is standard, not trusted clone. So, wh what we are going to do is uh, we are just going to change the CPU type to trusted clone. So, it will be changes, changed to uh, VM generation v2 okay first of all you need to download this uh, repository to your local environment to do that you can click here and download uh, this uh, repository as a zip, uh, zip file and I already downloaded it uh, to in my local PC uh, this is the uh, folder so it will be similar like this uh, you have the PowerShell script here and we have folder called dot attachment so here you have csv file for sample you need to change few values here i already did the changes uh, let me show you what we need to change here we need to put your vm name or uh, resource group name and the enable security boot type should be true okay now just uh, open your powershell uh, with elevated access this is my PowerShell window so you just need to navigate to the particular file location first I uh, just copy the location and navigate to that location okay now uh, you can copy the whole code uh, this one I already commented out as I mentioned earlier so just copy whole PowerShell script and paste it here like this and hit enter so here it will be asking firstly subscription id we just need to put your subscription id as a subscription id here you can paste it like this and the tenant domain okay let me type mine now then the csv location this uh, csv file location should be relative path not the uh, whole uh, drive location path let me uh, put the relative path here it will be only single folder inside uh, sample csv file this is my uh, csv location relative path and enter like this it will be started first you need to uh, authenticate your Azure environment to do that login with your credentials here Authentic authentication complete now navigate the PowerShell script as you can see it's now running connecting to subscription 
under this tenant mapping the existing configuration host type source will be windows host name is 2022 data center validity vm sku type mine is b2s it is supported uh, vm is can supported for gm2 rapsol launch validating uh, mbr to gpt now it's validating mbr to gpt conversion is it supported or not it will take a bit time to validating now you can see it's already validated executing on vr to gpt conversion it is started validating this one conversion is starting and it is completed successfully now uh, it's deallocating the particular vm i uh, gen 122 vm currently it's deallocating to do the conversion because all the prerequisites are already met now now we start uh, updating the security type for this vm to trust launch now the change in the security type is done now it's starting the vm again let's see how it goes it's still starting so let's check uh, my current vm is still in v1 generation 1 and the security type is standard let's see uh, once this uh, partial script is completed okay it's just completed gen 1 2 gen 2 trusted launch update is completed for this particular vm let's check from the vm itself let's refresh here for uh, this vm generation 1 refresh it now it's v2 generation v2 it's now running instead let's check the security type here uh, it's changed to trusted load okay that's how we uh migrating your existing gen 1 vm to gen 2 vm so my main suggestion is to try this on your testing environment instead of any production environment uh, since this is still on the previous day if you have any corrections or if you have any uh, if you face any issues while we are doing this migration just uh, put a comment down below i will try to uh, comment uh, every uh, once if you have any uh, concerns or any comments feedback just put in the chat box below okay thank you very much for uh, joining this uh, youtube video uh, have a good day